Good morning, children. How are you all? I'm happy to see you all in the new lesson. Okay. Today we are going to see an interesting topic. Okay. We are going to read about the history. We are going back to the history today. It's a very interesting lesson. We are going to see about Kitu Rani. Chanama, we are going to read the new lesson. Before that, we are going to read a pre-reading activity, okay? So, we are going to listen a story. So, today we are going to listen a story about Oneke Obawa, okay? So, you can even browse and see in internet. You can Google it and also see uh, there is a movie also and you can watch that, okay? So, see, moving on to the lesson, okay? So, take page number 72. In our lesson, take page number 72, okay? So, this Oneko Bawa, huh? Is um, this story happened in 18th century? Okay, she was a brave woman who fought the force of Hyder Ali, okay, single handedly with the pestle, okay, in the kingdom of Chitradurga of Karnataka, India. Okay, okay, see, there is a small story about her. See, it, it tells about her patriotism and also her braveness okay so that is why she was a famous a famous female pride in for karnataka okay so she is really brave so we can see how she is brave okay shall we listen to the story see take page number 72 Madhakare Nayaka was ruling Chitradurga. See, this is the Chitradurga. Okay. The Chitradurga fort was very beautiful and strong. There was a brave woman in the city. Her name was Obawa. Her husband was the guard of the watchtower in the fort of Chitradurga. Can you see this picture already? They have given the fort. Okay. See how strong it is. Okay. So this is the fort. Always when there is a uh, see in olden days when there was a king. Um, if the king palace is inside surrounding full that kingdom fully will be guarded by big and strong fort. Okay. So, there are, uh, you can even see how a fort will be built and all those things in Google. Okay, children. So, here the Madhukara Nayaka was ruling Chitradurga, this place. Okay. In this place, there was a brave woman and her name is Obawa. Yeah, this Obawa's husband was working as a soldier. Okay, so he was working as a, like how securities are there now, uh, watching overnight also, night they will work, no? So like that, this security, like security, this guard, he was guarding that um, fort, okay? So he was watching that tower in that fort, okay, children? So once either Ali attacked, once Hyder Ali attacked the Chitradurga fort, the soldiers on both sides fought bravely. Hyder Ali sent his soldiers into the fort through a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel means a hole, like a hole they will dig. Secret... It, it, see, it cannot be... The hole means you cannot walk. You, can, you have to crawl and go okay like you you cannot um, even kneel okay you cannot even kneel down and you cannot go like that way okay you should crawl um, like that 
very small space will be there and that is very secret if the king wanted to send something important note to the other king or something like that they will move through that tunnel okay so Hyder Ali sent his one of his soldiers into the fort so while the soldiers was rushing into the fort through this tunnel at night Obawa saw it she was brave and patriotic okay so without disturbing her husband she came towards the tunnel with her onek onek means that pestle okay um it is uh, pestle means it will be um, it is used to um they use this in the um paddy field okay so they will be using that hmm? in the paddy field they use it then she began to kill the enemy soldiers one by one. She hit them on their heads with her onek as they came out of the tunnel. What a brave woman she had saved the fort. The god Obawa's husband saw Obawa with hundreds of the enemy's dead bodies around her. He was shocked. Obawa was an extraordinary okay she is, she is ordinary but her action made her extraordinary woman and she protected the fort Madhakaranayaka praised her patriotism and bravery so she was a great woman like Rani Kittu Chanama and Kelari Chanama okay glory be to her so this is a pre-activity actually in our book it is given like at night but um, the story actually they says that see obama's husband was eating lunch it seems okay so uh, when he was sitting there and eating lunch he wanted to drink some water so she went and fetched some water by the time the enemies uh, started to attack okay like they were um, uh, coming inside okay to attack this place okay so immediately uh, she attacked with his special it seems so that's how without knowing like Obama's husband uh, he was eating so she don't want to disturb him so she had done that so that's why they praise him like okay um, for her patriotism and bravery okay the story is telling like that but in our book it is different okay it, it says that it is um, happened at night okay who was Obama Obawa was see look at the page number 73 answer these questions orally who was Obawa Obawa was a brave woman in Chitradurga who attacked Chitradurga fort Hyder Ali attacked the Chitradurga fort how did Hyder Ali plan to send his soldiers into the fort he planned to send his soldiers into the fort through a secret tunnel how did obawa kill the enemy soldiers she killed them with her own egg okay pistle why was obawa's husband shocked uh, obawa's husband uh, shocked on seeing her nearby all uh, like um hundreds of enemies dead bodies around her when he saw Hobawa with hundreds of the enemies dead bodies around her he was shocked okay okay shall we move on to the next page page number 74 Kittu Rani Chanama see we got freedom on 15th August 1947 many of our great leaders fought against the british rule some of their pictures are given below see here mahatma gandhi okay mahatma gandhi subhash chandra bose there are many people who have fought for our country and they got freedom for us 
like this kittu rani chennamma also was the indian queen okay she was the indian queen of kittur so it is in um it is in karnataka only and she led an armed rebellion against the british east india company in 1824 okay but uh, she was defeated and died in prison one of the first female uh, rulers to rebel against british rule okay um so she has become the folk hero in karnataka and symbol of the independence movement in india okay so shall we read about her rani chinnamma was born in 1778 she was the daughter of dul appa gauda of desai of kekati village of belagavi her mother basmavadi was a pious woman Chanama was brought up with love and care. She learned Urdu and Marathi along with Kannada. When she was young, she read epics like the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. She also read different books of the Vachanas. Chanama learned shooting and horse riding. She was bold and intelligent. The wise man said Chennamma will become a great queen that became true okay so she was born on 23rd october 1778 in kakati a small village in the present belagavi district of karnataka india she belonged to a lingayat community and received training in horse riding sword fighting and archery from a young age okay so she married at a uh, age of 15 okay so she married at the age of 16 and uh, chennamma's husband died in 1824 leaving her with a son and a state full of volatility okay this was followed by her son's death in 1824 so rani chennamma was left with the state of kittur and an uphill task to save it from the british following the death of her husband and son rani chennamma adopted shivalingappa in the year 1824 and made him the heir to the throne okay so once a tiger once a tiger appeared near the kakati village forest area the tiger was troublesome to the farmers so he would destroy their crops at that time malas uh, sarja the king of kitu state had come to kakati the people came to meet him so they requested malas sarja to drive out the tiger along with some soldiers malla sarja set out into the forest and he was a skilled hunter he chased the tiger in the forest suddenly the tiger disappeared on the other side chanamma rode her horse behind the tiger finally she shot him with arrows two arrows pierced his body chanamma had killed the tiger before malasarja came to the spot what a brave lady malasarja praised her bravery he married chanamma because of her valor and beauty okay so she was also very brave okay so the state of kittur came under the administration of darwad collectorate in charge of st john thackeray of uh, which mr chaplin was the commissioner so uh, uh, both of whom do not recognize the new ruler and regent and notified kittur to accept the british regiment but hmm, rani chennamma sent a letter to them and um, the british tried to um, kill her but uh, they attacked okay they attacked her but still chinamma 
fought against the british people so she fought very fiercely chinamma was um she was brave because of her brave she fought against the british people okay so what happened then um rani chinamma was patriotic she loved her country the most the british attacked kittur fort in 1824 she fought against the british bravely and she killed a number of british soldiers she won the first battle but in the second battle she was caught and imprisoned she was kept in belongal jail there she breathed her last on 2nd february 1829 okay her uh, burial place now uh, the government is taking over uh, they have taken the thing and um, see her name has written in the pages of our history even every indian remembers her okay especially we people remember her because she is from our karnataka state so we remember her lot okay so they even people here they have sung songs um, uh, regarding her bravery kittura nechanamas uh, bravery heroic things they have made some from music songs okay in 1962 film in kannada they have directed a film in kannada kittur chanamma and also to remember her like uh, commemorative postage stamp was released on 23rd october 1977 by the government of india okay and also coast guard ship hmm? kittur chanamma was commissioned in 1983 okay and uh, the indian railway train rani chanamma express connecting bangalore and kolhapur okay after this and also there is a university so she is also a brave woman because of her patriotism and brave heroic things she is still in our heart okay so we are deeply we have to respect her okay so this is the lesson so we'll see the back exercise in our another class okay children thank you so much